When it comes to powered speakers, do you prefer smart speakers or dumb powered speakers? Smart speakers have features such as Wi-Fi connectivity, Bluetooth, music streaming, heck, they even have preamps for source components like turntables or CD players, whereas dumb powered speakers have none of those things. They have just the amplifier required to drive the speaker properly built in. And because of the ever-changing nature of technology, a lot of people believe that smart speakers are a bad investment. And audiophiles tend to shun powered speakers altogether because they would prefer to choose their amplifier. So where does today's product fit in? Well, hit that like button and subscribe because we're going to find out as we review the Gold 5 powered monitor from Tanner. Now, Tannoy is a brand that dates all the way back to 1926, where they got their start making public address systems. But today, they're most known for their dual concentric or coaxial speaker designs. A coaxial design uses a tweeter that rests inside or just slightly behind the mid-range or mid-base driver. And it's that same coaxial design that is found in the Gold 5 we're reviewing today. The Gold 5 features a 5-inch mid-bass driver with an almost 1-inch tweeter. It has an internal Class AB amplifier that churns out 200 watts, giving it a reported frequency response of 70 Hz to 20 kHz. Each Gold 5 has a balanced audio input, a TRS-style balanced input, as well as a 3.5mm stereo mini jack for connecting the 5s to your desktop or stereo system. Controls include input trim, high frequency trim, a bass compensation switch, and power on off. For convenience, the fives can be set to auto sense, meaning they'll turn themselves on when a signal is present and turn themselves off when that signal, well, goes away. The Gold 5 is marketed to studio professionals and amateurs alike. It is a near-field monitor, that is to say that it will sound coherent or correct when seated close to it in a desktop-like setup but it can easily be used in a more traditional setup as left and right main bookshelf speakers. Design-wise, the Gold 5s are incredibly well built. There are elements of their build quality that are very reminiscent of the KEF LS50 Metas. Now, I am not suggesting that the Gold 5s are in any way the same as the Metas. They're not, but in terms of build quality and attention to detail, it is remarkable what you're getting with the Gold 5s. This being a pro-style monitor, there are no grills or extra trimmings to make this speaker fit into a more home environment. But if you are considering using them, say, in your living room, I actually think that they look better than a lot of so-called home speakers on the market right now. The only thing that I would change is I wish I could push in the front-mounted control so that the front was truly flush. That and I wish I could defeat the front-mounted indicator light, but I guess that's what duct tape's for. So how do the Golds sound? In a word, consistent. Consistent in that no matter where I set them up, they had the same sound and tone. This is a loudspeaker that strives to be neutral. It's not ruler flat, but it is more linear than other powered speaker designs from say Kanto's YU line or Klipsch the Fives. This isn't a knock against Kanto or Klipsch as I enjoy both of those speakers very much. It just comes down to which sound you prefer. But because the Golds are a little bit more linear, they're more like the JBL 3 series than they are the Kanto or Klipsch products. Like I said, this speaker strives to be neutral. In our living room and office setup, I did, I did hear a little bit of a bump in the bass towards the speaker's limits and a slight rise in the treble, but an emphasis on the word slight. But let's talk about bass for just a second. For me, there are multiple ways to interpret bass, but I understand that there are those out there that believe that if a speaker doesn't hit 20 or 30 hertz, then it has no bass to speak of. I disagree, because for me, there are different ways in which a speaker can convey low notes without necessarily hitting every octave. And the Tannoys fall more into that latter category. Is the 5 a full range loudspeaker? No, of, of course not. But if you're intent on cracking your foundation, you're going to need a subwoofer. The Tannoy bass hits with real authority because of that mild bass bump. It comes across as deeper than it would likely measure. And because it's front ported, you can reinforce this bass response by placing it closer to your front wall, giving you a small monitor speaker that absolutely 
slams. As you turn things up or as you reach the limit of this speaker's capability, know that the bass does start to roll off and lose some of its composure, but for a five inch anything, it's crazy impressive. Earlier I said the high frequencies had just a little bit of extra emphasis at the extremes. Now I don't want you to interpret that as the speaker being forward, bright, or fatiguing because it's none of those things. Unless, of course, you take it to the point of clipping, in which case all bets are off. No, there's just a little bit of mild sweetening up top that lends a bit of extra detail and sonic contrast to an otherwise neutral sound. It also lends just a little bit more sparkle to the high frequencies compared to the slightly drier can YU speakers or the JBL 3 series. Which brings us to the mid-range. It is so good. Vocals especially are a real treat. One of the benefits of a coaxial design is better coherence between all of the drivers, so there's no real audible gap. As a result, bass, mids, and highs all appear to emanate from the same place. And as a result, dialogue and lyrics just sound a little bit more natural. There is an insane amount of detail and presence in this mid-range, one that doesn't have to inject any coloration in order to make it more palpable. If you are a video or sound editor, this lack of coloration is a definite plus. Moving on to soundstage and dynamics, these speakers are incredibly detailed and focused. The soundstage is not laser etched, but there is real three-dimensional quality to every note and performer. Detail and separation between the speakers is better than, well, beyond the speaker's boundaries, but on a whole, the soundstage is very good. So while the detail may fade just, just a little bit as you work your way outwards, dispersion is fantastic, as is front-to-back depth. Center imaging is first rate. These speakers orally disappear on a desktop just as they do in a living room. And this being a powered speaker, dynamics are obviously excellent. I would put this speaker up against any five inch passive one because I think you would be surprised just how much more oomph you get in a powered design compared to a passive speaker. There is a limit to this speaker's capability and that limit seems to rest around 90 dB. Up in 290 dB, everything about this speaker is as described, but inch just beyond that and it starts to lose its composure and clipping can set in, which doesn't sound very pleasant, never mind, it can actually damage the loudspeaker. So if you have a larger space or want to listen at higher volumes, I highly recommend you take a look at the Gold 7 or 8 models as they will have a far easier time filling a larger space with sound. Apart from that, there really isn't much that I have to complain about with respect to the Gold 5s. The only other caveat worth noting, if you plan on using the Gold 5s or any of the Gold speakers with your existing preamp or AV receiver that may have preamp outputs, know that you may have to rely on an adapter cable because the Gold 5s don't have a consumer-friendly RCA-style input. In terms of comparison, the Gold 5s remind me a lot of my JBL 3 Series powered monitors that I had for years. The Gold 5s are better built and sound a bit more composed and weightier top to bottom. It's like they just have a little bit more meat on the bones. And I don't know if that's down to the Tannoy's Class AB amplifier compared to the JBL's Class D one. I just, I just prefer the Tannoy. I know the 3 Series are less expensive, but I do think you get more for your money when it comes to the Tannoy's. Other brands worth considering that make dumb powered speakers are Atom Audio and the more expensive Genelec as well as Barefoot Sound. Now, I have not heard these brands extensively, but if you have experience with them, please let me know down in the comments below. Compared to my Kanto YU series speakers, in terms of sound quality and refinement, the Gold 5s are superior. Now, if I was trying to build a budget hi-fi system around a pair of powered loudspeakers, it's going to be cheaper and easier with the Kantos than, say, the Tannoy. Because the Kantos have features like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, sub-out, and even phono stages built in, whereas the Tannoy has none of these things. And the same can be said for the Klipsch 5s. Now, the Klipsch 5s are a whole other animal. They really are a soundbar replacement as they offer way more features than even the Kanto. And the Klipsch 5, like the Tannoy's, is a small speaker that sounds way bigger than its modest size would have you believe, but it's not neutral. So if you like that fun, punchy Klipsch sound, which you know I do, there's only one place to get it, and I don't have to tell you that the Fives deliver. But if you're going for neutrality and accuracy, the Tannoy Gold Five is the outright winner. 
I'm gonna keep it real simple. The Tannoy Gold 5 powered monitors are fantastic. While I may still prefer some of the flexibility of smart speakers, the Gold 5s make a hell of a case for keeping things simple, excelling at one thing rather than attempting to be a jack of all trades. Do I think they're worth their asking price? Yes. And if you pair them with an inexpensive streamer like the Arillic S50 Pro, you're gonna end up with a killer little two-channel system that's going to give, well, more expensive systems a run for their money. Not that any audiophile will admit it, but you would. I highly, highly recommend these speakers. In fact, I'm keeping ours and making them my new desktop reference. So that's it. That is my review of the Tannoy Gold 5 powered monitors. What did you think? Honestly, I really don't have much else to add. I really? think you no. Really. I think you've I think you've described them pretty much perfectly. I'm in complete alignment. So you like these speakers? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're really good. They're they were pretty they were a surprise. I mean, but I didn't really have I didn't know what to expect because I've never heard Tannoy speakers before. What was the thing that surprised what what was the thing that you liked most about them? Like the the first thing that just grabbed you when I brought them out here. Um, I would say they sounded way bigger than their small size. I do prefer them over the Cantos. Mm -hmm. Um, the fives. I I it's been a while since I've listened to those, so it's kind of hard to say exactly. Um, yeah, and the design is so so different. Um, it's a you know. A much the fives are a much more like environmentally friendly. The Klipsch fives. Yeah. Yeah. The, sorry. Yeah. The yeah. Klipsch fives. They're yeah. uh, they're more decor friendly if you're going to have them out in your your living space. But yeah. I thought these were pretty interesting looking. I mean, they they didn't like most studio speakers in my experience look like studio speakers. And when you've brought when you bring them out in the living room, there's certain concessions that you're making because they were never designed to be that way. But I don't know, I think that little bit of gold trim and the, the lettering and the rounded edges, it it, it 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 dressed it up considerably. Oh yeah, they're, it you know? definitely elevated their look. And yeah. I mean, just looking at some of the, the other options you mentioned that you, you, know, you said you didn't, you hadn't listened to in a while. Mm -hmm. Wow, I mean, those, they might, I'm sure they are like, for professionals, they're yeah. probably the bee's knees, but boy, from a like just design aspect, they're, they're just ugly as everything. So <laughs> when you compare, you know, it, it depends on what you're looking at, but yeah. if you are doing video editing and, but you want something that's a little more design friendly, like for example, if you're a YouTuber and your stream or you're like a Twitch streamer or yeah. something like that and you want something that has a little bit of a nicer look because it's going to appear in the background or in the shot. Yeah. I think that these would be a really good yeah. thing to look at. Yeah, they they definitely have that. And one of the things I didn't mention in the review that you just brought up about sound editing. This isn't this doesn't become an issue so much when any powered speakers out in a living room cuz you have some distance between you and the speaker but the amplifiers inside the tannoy stone cold silent there's no hiss like there's always just a small amount of background background noise that i have to realize is there when i do when i did sound mixing with the cantos like there's just a very slight hiss and for the longest time i would constantly try and tweak the the levels or the eq on my on my microphone feed and post thinking it was a, thinking it, it, it was, was in, in the, the mic yeah and it wasn't now i know in past videos there was some background hiss in our mics because we were using different preamps and we were you know we were trying to get better with each and yeah, every video we, you know, we were newer and but there was definitely um an inherent noise floor with the cantos that these don't have and that was like the final nail in the coffin for me of like okay it's time it's time for me to up my game because now if i hear noise it's because it's getting picked up somewhere in here yeah, it's the room. and it's not the speaker um which is one of those things that you don't know you need until you got it and then as soon as you try and go back to something else you're like oh yeah, no, I'll never, I can't, it'll never be the same again. So that's something I forgot to, to write 
into the script, but yeah. A few things I may have forgotten because we're trying to work on this during uh, Apocalypse Week. So sorry we didn't have videos for you, but we also had very spotty utilities for a stretch there, and we still don't have still don't have water. I managed to take a bucket shower uh, last night for the first time in a week just to make myself look a little more presentable for for a camera. But uh, I think you did a nice job. Yeah, this is starting to get a little scratchy, and I'm I can feel the hair kind of coming over the top lip. I don't know how some of you people with like the really cool beards do it. I've only grown my beard out like Legends of the Fall style one time. And I was very, very single and alone when I did it. <laughs> um, and that's when I discovered that at the age of like 20s, in my mid 20s, when my beard gets longer, gray hair just comes in. Like I haven't been getting, I, I'm getting more gray now, but that's when I discovered that my beard has just gray hair in it as it grows. Um, but boy, that was a slog getting it to that length. I kind of willed myself to do it. Yeah, we we don't need to go there again. Yeah, of course I had like also like shoulder length. Yeah, shoulder we length. Need, we don't need to do that hair. either. I used to pull back all, no. all, all cool and stuff before anyone else was doing it. So yeah, this week's been this week's been interesting, but I really appreciate a lot of you have checked in with us. You've left comments on our videos and on the community page. It's been it's been really nice, um, and we really appreciate it. Look, you you really appreciate all of the things that you take for granted on a daily basis when it comes to times like this. And I know yeah. there are people we know even that have had it much rougher than us. Viewers that live in Texas and, that yeah. have it worse than us. Yeah. And God, I hope. I hope things get so much better for them soon because like that poor guy that said is the root, the, the ceiling in his kid's room. Yes. He's got like 10, a 10 month, month old. old. Oh. Yeah. You know, and I mean, I've, I've seen people I know on Instagram share on their stories where just water was pouring out of every, every surface inside yeah. their home. And on top of it, you know, it's, it's freezing, freezing cold. And, and now, you know, it's very difficult to find food I know you you just managed to get gas like yesterday. Yeah. Um, so if you're able to, I think we're probably going to extend the fundraiser for this video for this video. Oh yeah. If you're able to help, um, help us raise money for feeding Texas. It's just a little a little thing we can all do to maybe help ease yeah. someone else's struggle because even now the that the temperatures are warming up, the realities of the damage is going to really start sinking in and um it's it's going to be it's it's still very difficult to find food out in the grocery stores you know we've yeah. been out and they are just absolutely empty yeah they're they're completely picked over and you know they grocery stores a lot of them lost power too and so everything inside is spoiled so as soon as they can restock Obviously, there's an immediate need, and, and, it, and it just gets it gets wiped out. And this is going to go on for a while, which is why we're going to keep the fundraiser going for as long as necessary because that food, that water necessity, that need for people is, is not going to end tomorrow when the temperature gets to be like 50, 55 degrees. It's going to be weeks of this, if not months. Um, yeah, so if you can help, we would really appreciate it. If yeah. you're not in a position to, that's yeah, that's totally cool. Yeah. You know, never feel obligated or pressured. You know, we yeah. just if if it's, we can help, we have a platform here. Yeah, um, you know, and, we we try to do something positive with with it when we can. Yeah, and if you're able to help out, we um, want you to know how much that means to us. And you'll just, just know that you're going to be helping out somebody. You're helping out somebody. And a lot of you have offered to help us directly. And I, I, I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. That that's so great. We're okay. We have it way better than most people. Um, we don't need it. So that's why we're trying to put the focus on people that are even less fortunate than we are in this situation. Like I'm, I'm happy to bail out bathtubs and manually fill toilets. I can do that. I don't need any assistance with that. There are literally people that don't have a home to come back to because it's an ice box and they're going to need help. And that's why we're doing it this way. 
Um, but yeah, that's been our that's been our week. Uh, yeah. Hopefully things return to normal ish. And as far as what you guys see, hopefully they return to normal sooner than later. But um, I'm just hoping for a shower. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a shower, shower, and a shave. <laughs> really, that's it. It would be well. Let's start there. Let's, yeah, baby steps. Baby Some steps. hot water would. Hot water would, would be feel good. so nice. Dishwasher. Being able to. We're out of dishes. We uh, made the mistake of like, we'll use a plate and then because I don't. Yeah, know. we just didn't. Well, I don't think anybody anticipated that the 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 cold spell was gonna last as long as it did and or be just that you know bad. it was a it was a uh, domino effect so to speak so. sure sure but so. but other than that gold fives <laughs> gold fives <Yay>! total winners <laughs> yeah thumbs total up total winners Two thumbs up yeah highly highly recommend them check them out anything else to add uh have you asked the question of the day well i haven't done the sign off yet oh. <laughs> i don't know we're out of practice <laughs> we really are it feels like we're rambling so <laughs> apologies in advance all right well if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up like and subscribe ring that bell so that you're notified when new videos come out and i have see i've already messed it up see i've already messed it up let's let's rewind it uh so that is our review of the tanoe gold fives let me know what you think of these speakers down in the comments below and my question of the day for you guys is this where would the Tannoy Gold 5s, 7, or Ace, or any powered speaker for that matter, fit in your hi-fi system? Let us know down in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Ring the bell so that you're notified. Know that all of these things actually help us out a great deal. Oh, real quick, while we were uh, in the snow, um, we surpassed 160,000 subscribers. So thank you. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you guys to continue to subscribe and watch, even though we weren't here to give you new content. So thank you very much. If you use any of the links that Christy leaves for you down below, know that that is a great way that you have shown your support for this channel and the work that we do here. And both of us, thank you very much. Again, click donate to give to Feeding Texas if you can. Uh, as we just said, it does help those less fortunate than us get through this very tough time. And we're trying to just raise as much as humanly possible. So if you can, give a little today. Follow me on Instagram at Recovering Audio File. And that is it. We are back. So remember, the only person who has to like the sound of your system is you. So happy listening, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you on the next video. Bye.